I love how it curves like that. It's so mm -hmm. pretty. I just can't get over how green it is, but I mean, it's absolutely green. Yeah. Where are we? Are we in Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> We're in Ireland. What is that out there? That is that? Is there a name to that? That Excuse rock me. to stick it up yeah. is Cabazon Peak. And it's, what Peak. you see is the remain, uh, remnants of uh, a volcano core. Is that really Cabazon Peak? Yeah. Hmm. You're a walking Wikipedia, dude. He is. I've lived here all my life. <laughs> I even know a lot of the history stuff about like, well, not here so much, but down in Cloudcroft in Mexico and Bo's and good stuff. What? It is, uh, a lot of really have like spots where you can camp. There's Abby. Abby's so pretty. And you can have lunch. You can grow burgers. Enjoy the sound of the water. So beautiful and so green right now. Okay guys, so yeah, we're over here at Hamas Dam, and I'm taking pictures of Abby, because you know, Abby's so pretty, and Brett says, holy shit, and I went, there was a mother clucking rattlesnake right there, like, yeah, so uh, I levitated over here, while he is still trying to get video of the rattlesnake, He's like, go ahead, get an Abby. I'm like, mm-hmm, nope. Walking my fat ass over here. I'm just waiting for you, sweetie. <laughs> I think he's got some video and some um, pictures, so I'll include them, but I'm not going anywhere close to that area. I may even move out to Mexico. Yeah, I see it. You see it now? He's kind of over to the right. Yeah, over here to the right. He's just kind of letting us know that he's there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, last time I saw one of those, I was running in there. Oh, little guy. Little guy, my ass. It's about three feet long. That's big enough. No. I'm not saying like people should go kill snakes and stuff like that because. You know, they are beautiful. The snakes are just not for you. <laughs> Ashley, why are you screaming and running? Um, because there was a rattlesnake. Oh, why are you screaming and not running? Because there's a rattlesnake there. So all my family's in Michigan, and I sent them the, the video of the rattlesnake. And I was like, <laughs> I'm moving. So, yeah. But it was literally like, I don't know, two feet from Brett. Yeah, I was taking this really cool picture of the FGA, which we'll post. You could do... Process. Sorry. I thought I heard it. And the really messed up thing is they're supposed to warn you, right? The only reason I heard his rattle is because he bumped it on a rock. He wasn't rattling. He was a sassy snake. He was in stealth mode. Yep. He was a ninja. He was sneaking up on you. He thought I was the world's biggest prairie dog. <laughs> But the crazy thing is like I was walking all over around there taking pictures for you guys and scoping and all this crap. Now um, I think all of our travel videos will be filmed from the comfort of our FJ Cruiser. I don't think I'm, I'm ever going to leave. Nope. It's funny that you have that realization the same time I realize that I do have the same body as a prairie dog. <laughs> prairie dogs are nice though and they're cute. The ones up in Santa Fe make like this chirping noise. The ones that are at um, Jekyll. Yeah, we were gonna. We were thinking about maybe going to the Corrales Farmers Market because someone said that they have really good vegetables right now. But yeah, I'm gonna go get dog food and then I'm gonna go lock every single door and window in my house so that the rattlesnakes don't come get me. That's a totally rational thing to do. We were in his living room. Well, you know what? When people go over to my living room, I'm a good hostess. He could have been worse. 
Well, yeah. You just told us to get the F out. Ah! So, Brad thought it'd be fun to drive through a mud puddle when I had my window down. And then the next video you would have saw is Brett explaining why we got divorced. Because he drove through a mud puddle while my window was down. Okay, you guys, I gotta go run in and get dog food, and then seriously, I think we're gonna go home and just stay there forever. Or plan a move to some place that doesn't have rattlesnakes. It's just a little guy. He was like four feet long. He was three feet long. No, he was like, he was so long. I know so exactly long. how big he was. It was my legs he went between. Yeah, and you're freaking tall. <laughs> He's three feet long. Tiny little guy. Tiny little guy. Tiny little guy. Tiny little guy is like a baby that's like four inches long. Oh, they're not here with their barbecue. Makes me a sad panda. Okay, I really gotta get dog food now. So I'm in tractor supply getting dog food. And how cute are these marquee lights? This barbecue one, I foresee in my future. the dog food that I feed my dogs. It's for health. It's grain free chicken and vegetable and it's twenty dollars for a 16 pound bag. I only can find this at tractor supply and my dogs love it. So this company Smallbright contacted me to do wow my hair is awesome to test out this teeth whitening kit which you guys know my teeth are not perfect and they're not like super to her white. So I thought it would be something cool to do. I do have sensitive teeth. Sorry, that's a project I'm working on right there. Sorry about that. Um, I do have kind of sensitive teeth. So they sent me one of their kits to review and I thought I would do the impressions on camera with you guys because it doesn't sound confusing, but I just wanted to include it in my vlog, honestly. So they didn't ask me to do this. They just sent this to me for me to try if I like it, share it with you guys if I don't like it, you know, still talk about if I wanted to. Not, I don't have to do this. Um, but it's to tell you guys basically about my experience with the product. And I'm, I'm done with that because while this isn't a sponsored video, I do want to share this product with you guys because I think that there's a lot of people who are very self-conscious sometimes about their teeth. And I totally understand that because I even get self-conscious about my teeth sometimes. So I would like them to be a little bit whiter. And, you know, not everyone can afford these whitening treatments that are at the dentist. I'm very thankful that, you know, I do have dental insurance. But I still wanted to try this product out for you guys. And it is called Smile Bright. What you do is you basically make your tray. And then you send the tray in the prepaid envelope, which they also give you, to them. They mold your tray and then they send it back. You also need to send it back with this little handy dandy card. I'm going to cover my address. So this, I believe this whole kit was $119. You get the, you get three treatments. Um, the desensitizing gel was sent to me because I said that, you know, that was basically the only way I'd be able to try the product because I do, I could have very sensitive teeth. So, I decided that I was going to make the molds with you guys on camera so you can see, you know, if it's easier, if it's not easy. They do give you two trays, one for the top, one for the bottom. And they give you three of these containers. One is the catalyst paste and the other one is the base paste. So, according to their instructions, it said, prepare for impression. Before you begin taking your dental impressions, make sure you have everything you need close by. Start by brushing and flossing thoroughly, which I've already done that. Clean teeth are important for perfect for perfect impressions. Make sure you have in front of you a complete kit, stopwatch, some paper towel, and a glass of water. So let me run and get a glass of water real quick. Got my glass of water in my Moscow Mule mug. I love those things. They keep your water cold longer, I think. So Okay, so I got all that, got paper towels, got the material, stopwatch, I'll just watch it on my computer. Okay, what's included? Three sets of impression material, 
You will likely only need two sets of impression material, but a third is provided in case you make a mistake. If a mistake is made, simply let the questionable impression harden and then gently remove it from the impression tray. Remove one catalyst paste white and one blue paste from their containers. So let me open this up. This is what they look like in their containers. Mix thoroughly by continuously folding in half. Once it's a solid blue process to step three, should not take too long because the putty will begin hardening. It should not take longer than 60 seconds. Okay, dokie. So let's see. How many two pieces? So you said you fold them together. Solid blue color. I think this is about as solid as I'm going to get. Maybe not. Let me do it a little bit more. Okay, set putty in tray as shown in the above image. Make an effort to spread it evenly within 30 seconds. Position fingers on all three sides, on all three points on the bottom tray, and press into teeth evenly. Your front teeth and back teeth should enter the putty at the same time. Press deep enough into teeth so material overflows gum line. Okay. And that is my bottom. So my top and my bottom. So you're supposed to let these dry. You're supposed to let them dry and then rinse them out and then ship them off. So that is what I will do. Them back or like if I get something back from the company that says we can't use them or whatnot, I will share that with you guys. Okay, you guys. So I've had like another mental breakthrough today. And I was doing my... This is why I don't like laying put my arm on my desk when I talk to you guys on my vlogs because I'm lazy and I do this when I talk to people all the time and some people think it's because I don't care and it's not it's because my head is so heavy it's full of brains no I'm kidding anyways I had like another mental breakthrough today and you guys know that I've been like struggling with anxiety like this last two weeks and it's been really kind of difficult and I finally you know had a breakthrough last week but like today stars have aligned and I've said in many 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 vlogs and stuff like that that I want to become self-employed and I thought like I wanted to have a shop and then you know I wanted to do YouTube full-time and have my blog and this and that yada, 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 yada. but I think I've figured out like kind of what my calling is and it really happened today on my Chic Scope. I was talking about, you know, starting a YouTube channel and things like that. And this this gal named Deborah was on there and she told me I was doing such a great job. And I'm like, first off, I can talk about anything. I love helping people. Like, empowering others is a passion of mine along with instant media or not instant media social media and video media why am i not following that passion you know i i hate to like sound you know kind of a little arrogant but oh i had somebody asked me what that box was that's the box that i use to take photographs in just so you know and i sit it up there so my dogs don't like my little dog tries to lay in it when i have it on my floor anyways back to mandy land I love YouTube and video media. Like, that is my passion. I wish I had more time to really produce better quality videos on my channel, meaning I had more time to edit them how I like to edit them. Why am I not following this? Why am I not coaching others to to do this because I think YouTube and Periscope is such a huge media outlet for businesses that a lot of businesses are not and a lot of self or entrepreneurs and, and self-employed peeps are not using that to its fullest potential. So this is the weird sequence of events that has happened in my life. 
So Friday, I had a great day at the office. You know, you guys know, you guys know, because I said about it in my blog. I was like, I had a great day at my office. My office was awesome. But I was sitting here on Sunday at 6.41. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the things I need to deal with at that office anymore. I don't know. Like, I love my job. And I love my boss. And I love my coworkers. But I'm just kind of burned out. And... I know there's other people like that that, are, that feel burned out, especially when you work in like corporate America and things, that understand this. And it's not, but on Friday when I left the office, like I was really burned out and I was exhausted. You know, and then I had to go to the bank and deposit my check. And what did I do after that? Oh, I stopped and got dinner and then, you know, got home. And it's just like, I was in bed on a Friday night by like 10 o'clock because I was so tired. Oh, I had to pick up my car on Friday. And then, you know, it's just typical, you know, stuff that goes on during an adult life. But Saturday morning, it was really funny. Saturday, actually afternoon, I get notifications when Hillary Rubin, excuse me, does some of her Periscope chats. And I tuned into one and I happened to be in front of my computer and she decided to give away one of her meditate create and um it's, it's mcl training and i won it i was like oh, that's cool and then she's having this training that she's calling breakthrough to coaching experience and so i'm having to read like what some of it is because i want to make sure i give you guys our information and it says, find out what major breakthroughs these 15 top coaches and mentors made to build their confidence, ugh, discover their niches, and have a coaching business that's unique to them and pays them to work with the clients they love and how you can do it too. Holy macaroni, why am I not doing this? Like, media is my passion. And I love helping people. And I, I think like... You know, every time I've ever been someone's mentor, I've always gotten really good feedback on it. And I have such a unique approach to things with just how I was raised and what people thought I would amount to and things like that, where I kind of feel like, you know, this is something I could do. So today, um, Hillary asked me if, you know, if I would you know, share the link and things like that, which, you know, of course I will. Um, and I'll include a link to it down below for you guys who are interested. But you can just go to her website, sign up, and it's free. So you know what I'm, I'm going to do? My 31 days of YouTube is basically like a where I'm being your YouTube coach. And I really, truly think that this is where my passion really belongs. I still am passionate about my channel. I'm still passionate about my, my blog and things like that. But, like, I think this is the thing that is truly going. I just feel like, like I've, I've realized it. And you guys know, if you've watched my vlogs for some time, that I've been in limbo for, like, the last month, basically. And for the first time in a month, I'm not anxious. Okay, I'm, like, naturally anxious just because that's, like, my personality. But I'm not like, this is what I do when I get really anxious or I get really excited. I touch my nose and it reminds me to talk slow. Seriously, like that's what I do. I touch my nose. I slow down. <laughs> but like for the first time in a month, I feel like the stars are aligning and things are going to work themselves out. So I, I just had to share that with you guys because so many of you who watch my vlogs have become my besties and I have met so many great people because of social media and for that I am truly thankful. I kind of finally feel like I'm figuring out what I needed to figure out to be happy and what really truly makes me happy is making other people happy and being supportive and you know being someone's rock star so i think 
that is what I really need to focus on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the 31 days of YouTube and I'm going to brainstorm. I'm going to listen to Hillary's breakthrough to coaching experience. I believe it is a week long. It is from August 3rd to the 7th. So oops, we need to change the brightness. So it is four days and I'm really going to really focus on that listen and see you know if i'm if i'm really following what i want to do but honestly you guys i think this is what like i meant to do so i need to get back to cleaning my craft room because i pulled everything out of my closet which is all the crap you see right there um uh, because i was reorganizing it i'm buying a new like closet organizing system i'm designing one actually for my closet so i can better organize and i'm going to take down the doors i think and basically just have it be like just storage so i had to kind of share with you guys where i was at where i'm at mentally because you know that's something i've been very open about from the very beginning is kind of you know mentally where i'm at and i just you know if you're struggling with the same thing that i am right now where you're for feeling kind of lost Again, for the first time in 30 days, I feel like I'm finding it. So if you're struggling with the same thing, you'll figure it out. I'm not going to go into, you know, the whole God has a plan thing. I'm not going to go into everything happens for a reason because everybody has their own beliefs and I respect that. But I just feel like my stars are starting to align. And I think that August is going to be my epic month. So it's August 2nd. I still have 29 more days to, you know, rock this shit and I plan on it. So I just kind of, like I said, wanted to share with you guys where I was at mentally and um, thank you more for the support than anything because without your guys' support, it would not be like this. Um, I think I would be in a very difficult spot if it wasn't for your guys' support. So. You know, if there's anything I can ever do to help you guys, you let me know and shoot me an email, message me, whatevs we need to do. Because as much as you guys have helped me for this last month, I will pay that forward. Okay, recap of my weekend. I decided, you know, I got a lot of stuff done. I just didn't really use my planner much this weekend because I was doing a bunch of different things and I really took a weekend for me, which is okay. I worked on my scrapbook, which was cool. I decided that I wanted to be present and live today, being Sunday with intention. Rocked it. Got everything done here except for the videos, which I don't have to get those done right away. My 31 days of YouTube, my second post went up. I worked on my blog post. Heidi Swap, uh, post number two. I didn't do that today. I just... I was so busy with like my periscope stuff that I just didn't take a planner selfie and I actually just broke this planner out. This is going to be my personal scrapbook of kind of where I'm at mentally and good things and stuff like that that is just more private and personal versus the scrapbook that is for me and Brett. So that's what I'm going to use that for because I don't want this planner to go to waste because it is a really cool planner. So I'm going to use this basically for like my mental health planner, I guess, or scrap or memory keeper. I worked on my vlog. I did my teeth molds. I'm going to get them ready to ship um, and promote the coaching experience with Hillary Rubin, which I did that. So I actually can check that off. Something else I did today was I made this little fly leaf that I can put in my on my planner so I can remember what day we're on on the 31 days of YouTube challenge. So that is the end of my weekend and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.